Okay, so yesterday, Sony Alpha rumors triple confirmed three confirmations that they believe that the A7R 5 is coming out, and here are some of the new specifications for it. A little bit different than what we've been told with the other rumors. It will have a 61 megapixel sensor. It has not been confirmed whether that will be stacked or backlit illuminated. It will have a great deal more throughput, however. This was confirmed. So we're gonna have a lot faster processor, it would appear, thus making other things possible like faster frames per second, um, faster general processing and rate speeds to the cards, less buffering, you know, um, better image quality perhaps. So faster read times, that's another possible thing that we, maybe we're gonna see the um, stacked sensor, I'm hoping. <clears throat> it's gonna shoot video at 8K, but it's gonna be 24, 25, and 30P cropped. And that is critical um, because a cropped image is not gonna be as high quality. It's not using the full sensor. Um, it's not you know down resed from a bigger sensor. And so that's gonna be an issue. Perhaps, maybe not. We don't know what computational algorithms have been applied. So we can't say that for sure. It's gonna have 4K at 24 and 60 frames per second. Full sensor readout, full, you know, using the full sensor. My question is, what about 120 frames per second at 4K? That is something I really wanna see in the next cameras that Sony comes out with because I do a lot of slow-mo. I do a lot of slow-mo wildlife and I want to see that in my next hybrid camera. I mean, certainly we could go to the FX30 if that was an issue, but that means I gotta buy yet another camera and I don't wanna do that. It has most likely the S Cinetone profile and this was to give it more of a cinematic look. The Sony Venice look, if you will, from the cinema cameras that Sony has, they're trying to get that same look in an S, in a, uh, uh, I wanna say SLR, in the new Sony A7R5. And so that's welcome. It's gonna have S-Log2 and S-Log3, of course. For those that don't know, S-Log is simply a more high dynamic range type of recording profile that allows in post-production that to be color graded and the adjustments to be made where, you know, if you had the highlights blown out just a little bit, you could bring those back. And if you need to bring up you know, the shadows, you could do that. It's very much like a stills photographer uses RAW. Again, what about the frames per second here? We just don't know. I feel like with the Canon R5 shooting at 12 frames per second, I feel like at a minimum, Sony needs to meet that 12 frames per second um, threshold. On the other hand, the R5 doesn't have as big of a sensor, so it doesn't have as much information to push through the, the bus and all that. So, you know, take it or leave it. The other big thing that they talked about was it's gonna have eight stops of image stabilization. I could be wrong about this guys, but I think Canon's got nine stops. Correct me if I'm wrong. Still, the eight stops is very much appreciated and hopefully it is all a mechanical IBIS. The big, big, big news that came out of this announcement and again, this is all rumors here, folks. We're not talking about the official release. The official release, October 26th at 10 a.m. Eastern time. This has a brand new AF system. I don't think it's been upgraded. I think it's a brand new AF system from what they're saying. And it will have, I am told, AI. And they, they've always used AI, but this is supposed to be a much more intense AI, much more intelligence, if you will. It's gonna track birds. It's gonna track any other animal. It's gonna track humans, insects, um, trains, cars, etc. This thing is supposed to be really, really intense. So intense, in fact, that those who have tested a real camera, a real A7R5, pre-production model, 
have said that this is a great camera. It's a big leap from the A7R4. I'm not sure about that yet, guys. We're gonna have to wait and see on that one. But I do like the fact that Sony did not go with a 100 megapixel uh, sensor. Remember, we were hearing rumors that they were gonna have a 100 megapixel sensor. And I thought to myself, the only way they're gonna be able to pull that off is if they have come up with some kind of new sensor that behaves with the noise control of, a 20, of their 24 megapixel sensor. Because the reality is, you know, when you're talking about a hybrid camera, you don't want a camera that's 100 megapixels if it's only gonna go, only gonna have great noise up to 400. Yes, it's a studio camera, I get that, but many, many people don't use it that way. Most people use it as a landscape camera uh, that also can shoot video, that also can do portraits, that also can do, it's, a, it's kind of a jack of all trades camera, and that's the way most pros look at it. Um, is it gonna be a flight camera? It's gonna be better than the a7 IV was at flight, but is it gonna be an A9 III? Is it gonna be an A1? I don't know. I don't think it will because again, I don't think, not again, but I don't think that Sony wants to compete with itself much the same way as Canon doesn't wanna compete with itself. So that's the big news I wanted to talk about today. Um, Canon's coming out also with the, with the EOS R8. Not much to say about that camera. It's an upgrade from the EOS R or EOS R. Check out my review on the EOS R to find out what that has. This one's gonna have 30.3 megapixels, five axis image, uh, in-body image stabilization, 12 frames per second, 4K 30p crop, uh, 4K 60p crop, uh, cropped. Um, 4K 30p is not a crop, by the way. It's gonna have CF Express and dual card slots. So it's an upgrade, but don't expect major things to happen here. Again, Canon is not gonna compete with itself. It's not gonna be an R5, okay? It's not gonna be, even be an R6, probably. It's, it's just gonna be the R8, okay? So that's the big news out there. As soon as this thing happens, as soon as the Sony a7R5 official announcement occurs on the 26th of this month, I'm gonna get on here and I'm gonna get a video out to you guys as soon as possible to let you know and keep you updated. Thanks for watching, make it a great day and get out there and enjoy nature, bye-bye.